Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL stored post tutorial for beginners. This is our part 6. Inside this video session guys, we are going to discuss about out parameters in stored processor. In our last video, we had seen about the discussion over in parameter mode where we had passed some of the arguments while calling our stored processor and also we had defined our stored processor with in parameter mode. If I go to the next slide, now inside this slide, the first statement, the first paragraph about the input parameters we had discussed in our previous video. Now inside this video, we are going to discuss about the out parameters. So in simple language, we can understand that out parameter mode simply means the output parameter. It means that we are going to store some result into a variable. That variable actually we are going to call from the outside of MySQL stored processor. So those variables are basically in comes underlying called out parameter mode. So how can we understand using MySQL stored processor? So if I back to our PHP my admin, now this is our database, something called learn underscore data table. Inside this database, we have a table something called TBA underscore users. Now if I make descending order, go at the top, now we have total 500 rows. Now we are going to make some queries and using parameter out mode okay so if I something like this back to, again to our database click on routines and let's say that I'm going to make a stored processor using out parameter mode so let's add routine let's say get total users count as we know that the TBL users contain 500 records but we want to get the 500 numeric value by using a stored processor so routine name we have specified now we are going to add the two parameters right here something called in now let's say that we are not going to use in inside this stored processor simply we are going to count all the data from the table and store inside the output variable so out let's say total count now it should be int and let's say we are going to define the body of this stored processor. So let's say begin and and inside this let's say select all from our table something called TBL users. So this is the query that we have written now. We are going to add or sorry count all the data from our table. So count all from TVL users. Now after counting all the data, we are going to store all the counting data means 500 numeric value into let's say into our output parameter variable. So let's say total count. So select count value and we are going to store that value inside total count out variable. Now if I scroll down Let's say that definer is root underscore at the rate localhost. Definer no SQL and it contains the SQL. Now let's say that I'm going to click on the go button. Successfully we had created our stored processor using out parameter. Now let's say that we are going to execute that. So if I go here, this is our stored processor, click on execute button. Now as we can see that total 500 count get back after running our stored processor. Now behind the scene the MySQL runs this command. Let's understand about this command. So if I copy my stored processor name, go to SQL tab and let's say that simply we are going to call that. So call this is your stored processor. As we know that we have made a out parameter means we have to pass one argument for the output parameter so let's say that in mysql any variable is defined as using at symbol so let's say total okay now this is the variable actually we are going to store the total count value inside this variable now successfully we can run that but remember we are selecting and storing all the value inside this total but we haven't printed yet 
so let's say select total it means that successfully the value is here after running this line and now we are going to print here so select total as this is total underscore users count put semicolon now if I press control enter as we can see that total users count equal to 500 it means that by using call statement we have stored 500 value inside this total and by using this select command we have printed to this screen as well now if we are thinking that why actually we have used about the out parameter why not we had used about a simple variable that we had studied in our previous video so let's understand about that if we make the count query and store the value inside a local variable so how can we access that or what should be the output of that so just go to SQL tab I'm going to make a stored processor so let's say delimiter here delimiter let's say begin and end and inside this body section I am going to declare or before that we have to make our stored processor syntax call so let's say create processor let's say get count using variable now inside this I am going to pass I am not going to pass any output parameter so let's say that select all into and before that we have to declare a local variable right here so let's say declare let's say total count it should be int and let's say default value something like zero now we are going to store our count into this variable from let's say tpl underscore users so if I copy all these codes go to go here and open a new slide pasting it here let make some formatting so inside this stored processor this is our stored processor name in which we haven't passed any parameters like in parameter or output parameter simply we have declared a local variable inside this block we are going to make count of the total records from this TVL users table and we are going to store that count inside this total count variable now finally we are going to fetch the data or the output outside of this stored processor so back to browser I am clicking on go button so successfully we had created that now again if I copy this stored processor name go to SQL tab let's say call this is our stored processor name simply we had called that now if I press ctrl enter as we can see that it returns zero rows again if I go to routines tab here is the stored processor if I click on execute as we can see that it returns zero rows it's because in our previous video we had discussed about the scope of the variables also the variables which actually we had used inside this code right here this is the variable only for this block it's not be accessible outside of this stored processor if you want to access any value any result any data outside of this stored processor we have to use the out parameter mode so if we make some changes inside this stored processor let's add a parameter this should be out parameter and let's say total or simply let's say count users now inside this variable just copy that go here and let's say set equal to count users equal to total count actually where we had stored about the counting of our data so successfully we have declared a variable inside this variable we have stored our count okay now after storing that 
after storing that actually we have we are going to take the output of this stored processor outside of this block that's why we have declared a output parameter now finally counting this data we have in stored inside this count users now we can actually access the result outside of this block so if I press go button here so successfully we have updated that if I press on execute button as we can see that total 500 results actually we are getting outside of this stored processor let's make a, another scenario to understand in a better way about in or out parameter mode so if I click on TBL users go at the top now let's say that if I scroll here now let's say that we are going to retrieve the data of the second ID or third ID now we are going to pass the ID in our in parameter and take all the data from into our output parameter and also if you want to manipulate any data from the result we can also do that so if I go to SQL tab or open a new tab let's say that delimiter delimiter here let's say create procedure get user data by ID now inside this stored processor I am going to define two parameters right here one for the ID and second to store our data so let's say in let's say user underscore ID the type should be int now in the next parameter we have to declare our output parameter and let's say user data and it should be also let's say it should be int okay or we have some error right here in now finally let's say begin and end block now inside this block or here we have to define as int here not in only so let's say that select all from tb underscore users or we are going to select only the status let's say that we are going to select only the status value from this column right here inside this table we don't have any like a score or marks column if suppose that if you assume that status is something called score column now how can we actually play with the value of any column let's understand so if I back to this tab now let's say that select let's say status from TVL users where we have the column something called ID so ID equal to let's say user ID this is the user ID actually we are passing inside this parameter now successfully we have retrieved the status right here now let's say that this is all about our marks this is marks actually we are getting from this table now we are going to add some value inside that so let's say set user data right here and we want let's say into we are going to store the data right here inside this output parameter and we are going to add 10 more inside this what actually we did we did that we are queried to our table we taken the value of status stored inside this output parameter and by getting this value we are adding 10 more data 10 more numbers inside this number now if I save this file before saving that this is not total count because we have output parameter as user data now if I click on go button I think that we have some error and error is that something right here with the delimiter go at the top and as we can see that this is the delimiter we had defined but not terminated so successfully we had done that so if I press go button successfully we had created our stored processor now let's say that we are going to call this stored processor so copy that go to the SQL tab and let's say that set 
this is all about user ID and if we want to define user ID let's say that something 5 value and inside this 5 value we have a status equal to 1 so 5 this is user ID now we are going to call a stored processor inside this stored processor we have to pass a input parameter which contains some value so this is input variable and also we have to pass some output variable so let's say total sum now while calling this second line we are storing all the data inside this variable now next we have to print that so let's say select total underscore sum as let's say total user data so if I press control enter or simply click on go as we can see that we have result equal to 11 it's because successfully it has taken the value 1 from our database table and added 10 numbers into it so 10 plus 1 equal to 11 so successfully guys inside this video we understood about the output parameters it means that if you want to manipulate calculate or if we want to take some results from a stored processor simply use the concept of out parameter mode so in the next video we will discuss about in out parameter mode so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day